Oke okay guys, kita meski ke game pertama antara BTK melawan Aries 77 ya. Aries 77. Debut berdana buat Moba Zen di NACT 2024 ya guys ya. Bersama Nicolette yang dia jadi mid laner ya. Satu-satunya ladies yang jadi mid laner-nya Moba Zen guys ya. Alias BTK. I think if I'm looking at the draft so far, I kind of favored a little bit more for them. Uh, this is really going to boil down to how well uh, Jay Cutie can kind of perform on this TIG. Since there's a lot of things that can disrupt that implosion, it looks like it is going to be that Ruby in the Rome position, which we did agree with, right? We said if the Ruby can be the Rome, then he can just follow Jay Cutie anywhere he goes, and it'll make TIG oh, not be able to have the advantage oh, he's looking for. Manager. Yeah, I, I mean, uh, there might be some synergy uh, that we could talk about when it comes to Mar Cutie and uh, and the Tig Reel out there, Jay on um, Jay Cutie out there. So if you do get countered by one person, oh, actually, <laughs> a Mobazane in between three members, are they actually going to try to come against them? You do have nah, to push yeah. there on the Mobazane. It takes an early death in the <laughs> early the guess, seconds guess. of the first game. Yeah, caught out of position and nobody to really back him up. Looks like he got a little too overconfident, which will give Area 77 the advantage they're looking for to be able to take control of this early game. Now, Mobazane will be slightly behind behind in the farm. He is level four though, so he still can go in for this turtle, and that may be his game plan. But you're already gonna see Tarzan Cutie pulling the aggro in a counter and contest from Cold World and Nicolette. Yeah, but BTK, I mean, great grouping gear. Even though Mobazane went down, they still have great control of this first turtle. They are about to get sandwich. You see Jay looking okay, for an opportunity. Up. They're baiting out. Here comes the last insanity from Yellow. An Eternal Guardian is out as well. That's two <laughs> ultimates that they're not going to have for the rest of this turtle fight. Down to about half health. Are they going to be able to contest this cold world in here? Looking Ooh. for an opportunity. Malah Mobazane yang mati, guys, ya. Gak sempet markiban dia guys <laughs> Ini sih Mobile Legends menurut gue anti meta banget ya guys ya Dia itu selalu pakai hero jungler yang jarang dipakai guys Jarang dipakai di turnamen Kalau di rank mah selalu ya guys ya Apalagi kaum-kaum badak guys Kaum-kaum <laughs> badak ya Sejak M3 dulu sih Mobile Legends selalu gitu ya kalau penonton lama sih gak kaget bro lihat membazen kayak gitu bro. Blaster tenacity, but to see the focusing mark is at least at least new for me. But Mark Cutie off to a good start on the gourd, picked up his first kill of the game. We talked about him having a possible hard time jumping into this, especially being stagnant when he does use that mystic gust. But so far, hasn't had a rough start. I would say BTK need to be careful, or they might find themselves in a hole that they can't climb out of. Yeah, very interesting here, especially for Area 77. Ooh, I'm good at this. I'm good at this. I'm good at this. Coming out of that Ruby. The only problem here for Area 77 is uh, it's nice to have kills, especially on Moba Zane, can kind of give you that momentum. But as we start moving further and further into the game, we need to make sure these kills are coupled with some type of objectives as well. Kills alone don't do it, but you're going to want to maybe get a tower, get some gold plating, get another turtle or something like that to kind of keep the momentum in your direction and you know i mean if we look at how the advantage has been working so far area said oh my goodness invasion on the top side 3v1 oh yeah your rest is not long for this world there with a last insanity ultimate good play there both nicolette and moba zane there to help out with that gank buku udah diamankan oleh nicolette ya Little city here, right? I don't think there's too many people on. Oh, Cold World coming in there. Tarzan. They do notice Tarzan. Turtle yang kedua, guys. For Area 77, for this first turtle, Cold World trying to stop. I want to say doing the best he can to kind of harass this turtle. Now at about half health, Nicolette in a good position. Mobile. Eh, yeah, the one JG T Gila dapat dua, bro. Malah Mobile Zen engkan kalah, guys. Mobile Zen nggak bisa ngretri, bro. Aduh, bisa membazen mati juga ya guys ya. Itu buff yang diambil sih bro. Yang gede diambil, yang kecil dibiarin ya. Basic. 
Itu kalau digasin sih ISO bisa menang loh guys. Kalau digas loh ya. Sayangnya basic gak mau ngegas guys. Which is interesting because this lineup favors them. I mean they have so many counters to Jake Hudy on this TIG. He was able to get that setup though on Amoba Zane with that implosion with no problem which allowed them to kind of take that fight and make it work in their favor and now they're going to be leading by a massive xp boost almost up by 2000 gold now i wonder if this will be able to translate into some of the turrets though you know we see a lot of teams take these advantages but not able to find a turret to open up the map and if btk can hold on to these base uh their turrets then they may <coughs> be able to turn this back around now I'm worried about Jake Cutie on these engagements when it actually comes to the 5v5s. Can he still get these implosion setups? Yeah, we're going to see here. Oh, I love my tumbang guys. Mobazen. 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 Yeah, able to find Cole World, who's having a rough start alongside Mobazane, picking up a second death. Golden Staff picked up by ISO. You are going to see the um, JQ picking up some physical defense as well to be able to hold off the damage provided over there from the main, <coughs> from basic. Also possibly for Milo, but he does have that true damage running on this x -Borg. Right now, first turret, we're going to the side of Area 77 and two turtles under their belt up by 3,000 gold and are going to try and claim this third one of the game. Can we see Moba Zane rush in for the steal? No, he's not going to go in for it. He does not have the numbers. Not in the position. Dapat, yeah. And again, Marga Kitty, guys, kecuali Iso Kitty, ya. Basic dan forwardnya tumbang, bro. Tadi basic kena solo kill, guys, ya. Kali. Tadi gak kelihatan guys, tadi, guys. Okay, Apalagi dengan gameplaynya BTK yang selalu agresif ya guys ya Gak peduli terobos aja lah gitu ya Wih <laughs> sedapet Tumbang sih itu harusnya bro Nah Nah Tumbang ya guys ya Nah Yeah, able to pick up a kill. Their second kill of the game, though, still down by six and five thousand gold. Area 77 has the advantage right now. In theory, I mean, as long as they keep playing like this, they should be able to push through these tier two turrets. But BTK, they're known to be able to turn things around in the blink of an eye. You give them an inch, they take a mile. This itu, itu. may oh, be a little Yeah, great set. Kalau Tarzan masuk, banyak. Oh, Prefix and Mielo in a little bit of trouble here. Tarzan on the side. Ada, ada, lepas, lepas, lepas. Think twice. He doesn't really want to go in on it. They have the spacing. They're just gonna allow the the minions to push in at top. Yeah, I mean, this is just boiling down to better micro and macro for Area 77. Demon Hunter Sword picked up by ISO, picking up his third core item of the game alongside that corrosion scythe. I mean, look at uh. Look at uh, basic. He only has the um, Hoss Claws in a Legion sword. You have three core items over there outscaling him for Area 77 and now pulling the aggro for this Lord Milo trying to give some vision for a possible contest, but they don't have the numbers and this should be a free Lord for Area 77. Yeah, I mean, it's a free Lord unless you're going to try to contest this with uh, this huge deficit and it's just not a smart play. BTK definitely needs to kind of regroup mm -hmm. for the state by Area 77 yeah. or at least wait for some of these defenses because right now, especially with the mid towers down, this jungle area pretty much belongs to Area 77. Yeah, full ground control from them so far. Can they keep up this momentum? Will BTK find a vulnerability and exploit it? ISO able to take down the tier 2 turret for the bottom side lord marching in the top lane area 77 looking stronger than ever way stronger than we've seen them in the qualifiers with how they're performing today and this is not your average team right this is btk slotted right behind or almost even with the game in gladiators but now area 77 making a statement and ready to take it to their base 
Yeah, right now doing a great job of not only zoning out BTK <laughs> to take these towers, but the macro as well, splitting up the, oh, the nice little devastation here that we have up at the top. Lord crashing into this tower. Now we do have a concealed yeah. play and doing a good job. Tarot here. Masih masih aman, guys, ya. Tapi tersisa tiga base tarot doang, bro. Momentum to try to grab a kill at all. Yeah, I mean, Area 77, they're being passive, right? They're taking what they can, but they're not being overly aggressive. They are not trying to allow BTK to find a mistake. <laughs> and this is what you got to do if you want to get some of the ulti, top guys, yeah. teams in Sampai North America. You have guys, to biar dapet, take guys, yeah. every engagement as if it's the last. And that's what Area 77 is doing so far. I mean, they haven't even lost a single turret. No turret has taken any damage for them. In the last 11 minutes of their game, off to a great debut. Now, for the Bloodthirsty Kings, if they want to turn this around, it's going to start with uh, Cold World, right? Finding a setup, getting that arm offended, possibly disrupting Jay Cutie when he rushes in for that implosion. But the items is what's going to work in Area 77's favor. BTK needing to play to the late game. <coughs> Yeah, we're gonna see here. Oh, Tarzan. Right Tarzan, Tarzan masak tumbang guys itu. Masak tumbang lo guys, gila. Eh, Jai Kiti. Eh, dapat basic tapi purify. Ya, aman guys dia. Terlalu aman bosku. Man, trying to catch basic in his trap with that implosion, forcing out that purify last second, but Milo. With that flicker playing the last insanity, definitely showcasing his mastery on the export, but not able to find the kills he was looking for. But it's looking promising for the synergy of BTK, even when they're behind by a lot. Looking like they are taking Ooh. it to the mid lane for a possible push into that tier uh, one turret. Look at the bot side, though. A possible rotation down there as well. It's, it's crazy how far behind they are, but they're still overextending and taking this fight to the mid lane like they're even with Area 77. Well, and that's the kind of problem, and that's what kind of value you get from a BTK here, is that they know what they need to do. They know how far behind they are, and it's only a matter of time. Area 77 just needs to make sure that they're not making mistakes. They're not getting uh, a little too, I want to say, crazy when it comes to this. They do, I want to say, have a history of, like, not really being Ursi. able to close Ursi. to... Oh, my gosh, as we talk about that, Yureshi takes a hit Ursi. for damage. Vengeance is oh. out as la, he's la, la, trying la. to close the distance. Yureshi finds a kill on top. Aduh jadi gitu ya langsung beli immortal pas banget guys guys Oh wah tipis banget Wah gila Ya bisa Hampir kena guys ya Eh basic balik Basic balik Taruh tengahnya hancur bro Ya basic though making advantage of the separation Doesn't take one turret but takes two which will be an okay trade. I mean, they need to be able to open up this map, and this is where Basic shines, right? He knows how to rotate and create that opportunity when he has the separation needed. And this is what BTK Ih, has Lord to do. They want to turn this game around. As area Alpha, K, ini jadi Lord penentuan, for, uh, guys. A closer. They're looking to close this game uh, with almost a flawless victory, and BTK still has a chance to turn this around. Now, it's been a rough game for Mobazane. He's 0-5-1 on the Alpha. And right now, you are going to see the Lord on the top side in Area 77, ready to knock on the door for the Bloodthirsty Kings. Yeah, he's going to go ahead and charge into that it? tower. You can see it dropping very low. They're not actually eh? able to get it. ISO from the um, bottom. Aja, ISO nya, guys. Tapi away. Milo. Eh, so, wah, ya, ya, upset parah, guys. Itu, guys. Dapat sih, tapi upset parah, bro. Nah, kan? Wah, di gangbang, bro. Diselamatin, tapi... Wih, Nicolette. Aduh, malah bang flicker, guys. Ya, 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 sama aja bundir, bro. Walaupun Tarzan yang mati, tapi Mubazan mati juga. Ya, aduh. <laughs> eh, dapat. Ya, udah sih, guys. Udah sih. Tapi pada sekarat ya, guys. Ya. Tapi kalau kalau gua jadi mereka berani ngegas sih, guys. Masih ada ISO, bro. Minion pun banyak Atas ada, bawahnya ada juga Nah, tarot bawahnya tumbang Keburu gak guys? Keburu Milo datang bro Cuma kelihatannya kok langsung push ISO-nya, WON Gak peduli Ya gila guys ya Game pertama diamankan oleh area 77 ya guys ya Mantap kali guys yes. Oke okay lah Kita lanjut ke game yang kedua guys Mantap Bye bye Hey, gigi bang lah. <laughs>